Today we are going to visit the vagus nerve, also known as cranial nerve number 10. It originates at the mandula oblongata in the brain, the most fun word to say in anatomy, I'll have you know right now. And vagus actually means wandering in Latin. And you're going to see here why it's called that, because it wanders through the body. Now it is only this purple line. These other nerves are nerves of another type and responsible for other functions. The vagus, and there's actually two vagus nerves, there's a right and a left, we're seeing, we're visualizing the right, and it is going to flow into the muscles and sensory spots in your throat, okay, your pharynx and your larynx, and then it's going to come down to the cardiac plexus, so it has sway over the heart rate, and lungs, breathing, all of that stuff. It's going to come down further into the viscera, and here, it actually innervates or holds sway, communicates with all of the organs in your viscera. So your stomach, your liver, your pancreas, all those things are constantly chatting with the brain. Now, a common question is how do I stimulate the vagus nerve? And it's actually really easy. You just want to focus on a slow exhalation. So a quick breath in and then really focus on a slow, controlled breath out. The further you can extend it, don't be careful, don't pass out or anything like that. I'm not liable for falls because of this. So sit down and breathe slowly and you will be stimulating or talking to your vagus nerve. Now we'll spend some time here, throw some questions at me if you got them.